The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. It's always Classic Game Room time and it's always a great time for more Road Blasters. This is Road Blasters on the NES. This may just be the saddest video game music that I've ever heard. It's depressing in every way. Thankfully, the rest of the game is better. It's Atari's classic arcade game Road Blasters on your Nintendo Entertainment System. And I have a Road Blasters arcade game. I love the game. I love it. Heading into this, I had no expectations that the NES version of Road Blasters was going to be as good as the arcade game, and it's not. I mean, the arcade game has that incredible steering wheel with the firing buttons on it, and a gas pedal, and all steering wheels on all cars and all vehicles should have firing buttons. Take, take the cruise control button. I don't need it. Take the horn. Give me lasers and machine guns. If I'm honking at somebody, that basically means I want to blow them up anyway. So let's, let's skip the middleman, give me weapons. After spending some time with the 8-bit version of Road Blasters, I'm pleased to say that this is a competent 8-bit version of Road Blasters. It's not great, but it's far better than it could have been. However, there really is no excuse for the terrible sound and music in the game. Like, just think of the number of NES games with incredible music. You know, Bionic Commando, Super Mario Brothers, Zelda, Metroid, Mega Man. What's this game's problem? Why does Road Blasters hate your ears? Okay, so it doesn't sound very good, but the controls are decent. This is a fairly faithful home console version of Road Blasters. Where your objective is to drive fast and shoot everything in front of you for big points if you don't make it to the end of each round with some fuel in your tank. You and the entire world are destroyed. Or at least you just break down and starve to death. So unlike most arcade games from the era, you don't have lives, per se, but when you explode, you slow down. And then you don't make it to the end of the race in time, and then you lose. There's a variety of ways to score points in Road Blasters. Driving fast helps, obviously, and there's a score multiplier, as you can see in the bottom left. When you fire and hit what you're aiming at, it goes up. If you fire wildly and miss everything, it goes down. So if you really want a big score, conserve your ammo, except in the later levels, it's easier to stay alive by just machine gunning everything in front of you and not worrying about the multiplier. Why is all the music just oddly off-key? Your buddy will fly in every now and then and drop some special weapons that you can catch. You've got an Uzi machine gun, Electro field like a super nitro boost That's pretty handy one of the buttons on your NES controller fires the other one activates the special weapon and you push up to go fast Sadly, there's no steering wheel that I know of This isn't a bad version of road blasters if all you have is the NES like this would have been super cool back in the day when your options were arcade machine and NES version if you're looking for a great home console version these days, I would go Sega Genesis. And not just because I'm heavily biased, but the Genesis version is excellent. I reviewed that years ago, and also watched my review of the arcade game. Road Blasters is a blast. On the road, hence the title. And of course, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to my man, Mark. From Fresh Meadows, New York, thank you, Mark, for sending Road Blasters on the Nintendo Entertainment System. In this case, the Genesis does what Nintendo don't, but I would say the arcade machine does what neither of them can do. It has an awesome steering wheel for Road Blasters. The 
Best of Classic Game Room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hyper Vision album set. Ethel the Cyborg Ninja is coming soon.